Hello, uh, today I want to show you GraphQL Editor product tour. Uh, our software is most useful for exploring big GraphQL schemas and understanding them. First of all, you see a graph of the schema which you can easily navigate. So from type to type, you can check the enum values. Yeah. You can also decide Bani and you can toggle the code. As you may see, every cursor change is followed in the graph interface. What you can also do to explore graph is focusing nodes. So you see, I focus the project node and what I see is the exact view of the project and connected nodes. If I want to show the image of the project focused, I just use export. And I have my schema exported to PNG. You can also a rich documentation view. Right now we are adding a AI generation for our documentation because AI is capable of doing it inside the browser. For example, this whole documentation of Mailing was generated inside AI. You can of course edit everything inside documentation. Here you can add some markdown. So if I want markdown here, it's just markdown. I will. And I have it. Mm -hmm. You can export the schema, import it from URL. Uh, and of course you have the project cloud. Another cool feature of GraphQL Editor is uh, API. So every time you save the schema, something called mock API is deployed. Uh, why it's useful? Because I, if I want, for example, list projects and I don't have a backend yet, okay, projects ID, blah, blah, blah. And as you see, I have it listed. Uh, with a fake data, which is, could be used by a front-end developer or another part of the team. You can also configure this fake backend like this, for example, with values to randomize or by a fake key resolver. That means you have a lot of keys to choose and, for example, created at here will be generated from date past faker JS function. What else is inside GraphQL editor you may think? You have for example GraphQL libraries which allows you to stitch and merge schemas together using two tactics. One is merge when you just merge two schemas and one is prefix when you add certain things to your schema like a schema name, so I have users, so every node from the user schema have the prefix users. Of course, I don't want to stay with fake API forever, so what I can do, I can add as many endpoints as I want. I can add variables to endpoints and do pretty much everything I can do in uh, API, API collections clients. You have also microservices. This is a little bit more complicated. Uh, you need to read documentation, you need to be a developer, and you need to use CLI to use them. This is just our own backend engine that runs in TypeScript, but it's written in Golang. It's fully open source, but it's really fast, and it allows easy deployment to Kubernetes, Docker, Azure, Google Cloud, everything. 
And without vendor locking you, we provide you tool for free that you can use to build your backends really repeatably. Oh, and right now I want to show you the biggest feature of GraphQL Editor. So, themes. See, I have main theme and right now I'm switching to the toxic green theme. Everything's changed. Colors, border radius. You see how beautiful is it in green, but what happens when I change to amethyst? Everything looks purple. As you may see here, you have a node is too big. You can open it to see more fields. And this is the moment I will show you another cool feature of GraphQL Editor, which is our creator. I will create a new project. So it's a product tour. I will make it public. And I will create an entry system for a pub. No, we have beers. Name, price. You see, my schema is valid, so I have the mock backend deployed already. But I will craft something more. So name, price. And now I make all fields required, create a beer. Mm, the right now, choose beer. Oh, it's an array type. Let's make everything required. Mm -hmm. And right now let's navigate to, okay, I want to show you a creator. So right now I will create an interface, I will make node. And I will give it ID from Mongo database and I will give it created that and updated that. Oh, here is this. Of course, everything required. And what's cool about the interfaces is I want to add all those fields to my beer node. I just implement node and you see they are all locked because they are bound through the interface. And it works also in code. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else should I show you right now? Okay. That our mock backends actually work. So I will open API console. Because I... Beers. As you can see, I received correct dates on both created at and updated at fields. The name is absolutely generic because we need to specify that it's about beer. I don't know, we don't have beer method, so that's why we'll use the custom values. Uh, Bad light, um, Polish beer. Oh, Japanese beer here. Check beer. Pa, 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 pa. Stella from Spain. Peroni from Italy. What else should I add? I don't remember more names right now. So I will just Oh, check out, but there is my face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, save changes. Right now it should randomize uh, beer name out of this name. So let's see how it works. Yeah, and you see I have beer names here. Beautiful. The only feature I haven't shown in this product tour is libraries. So basically you have some native libraries 
uh, that you can attach. So if you use Apollo, AWS Amplify, or Country Calls, or Fauna, DGraph, Neo4, you can use them right away. You can't use them directly in schema because that would be a mistake. You need to specify all the directives before you can use them. And many vendors don't tell that. So I'm telling you, you need to specify the library you're using before creating schema basing on it. Mm. What else I should show you? Version history. I don't have many versions. You can deploy, you can use version control. And I will show you on a bigger project. Everybody's edits are accumulated here and you can see them in version history. You can use GitHub to connect your schema to your Git repository or to use one. And my advice is to, for you is to join community, watch videos, read the docs. And of course, this is mandatory do the interactive tutorial. I think this is the end of the product tour. Thank you.